we just came back from the Aussie gathering and we're so looking forward to this week of World Youth Day um, for catechesis during the days, um, the different types of prayer, spending time with one another, meeting other pilgrims and yeah, just to see what um, God is going to do in each of our hearts here. We feel really blessed to be here um, and we might even get to see the Pope. <laughs> see ya! This World Youth Day, I think God is calling me to trust and to let go of what I think I want and to accept what he wants for me and that that is better and that is what I need. So one of the newest experiences for me has been adoration and experiencing that in this Latin American culture. It's something really new for me. Um, it's been really different. It was different in Costa Rica and this morning we had a different adoration experience where we went into the church um, and I think it's been a really good moment to take a step away from what's happening at World Youth Day. It's crazy as you can hear and it's just a really nice moment of silence for everyone, I guess to reflect on what's happening and to have that moment with God. And this morning, um, it was really different for me. I wasn't really sure in, in the beginning what to do, um, but this morning I really felt that God was there and he was listening to me. and. It was just a really beautiful moment, so I'm really happy to be experiencing this. What I've really enjoyed about this experience is uh, just the opportunity to open myself up to others, um, just tell them about my own Catholic faith and really my conversion uh, about 10 years ago into the faith. Um, yeah, in 10 years I've never really had that, that opportunity, um, so it's just such a, a blessing and grace. Um, and even more so how that has such a positive impact on, on these people I speak to about it. So, um, yeah, just uh, praise God.